Yeah, I gave him $12 and he buys me a freaking car charger. Sorry, I gotta go. I gotta teach these guys how to connect to a freaking server. Sorry, guys, that's just uh, how I talk when I'm not on YouTube. But anyways, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect to a server. So, connect to server, there we go. So, of course, this is the method connect to server that we're gonna be coding. So, you know, we, I guess we might as well name it private void connect to server and this is also going to throws IO inception I'm just kidding exception not as exciting not as good as a movie but the first thing we have to do is we're gonna go ahead and display a message which is a nice little prompt to the user and we're gonna say dude attempting connection if we're not there yet, just hold your horses because that's what we're doing. So after this, like I said, what we need to do is basically create a socket. And the socket is the connection between this computer and another computer. So what information do we need to connect to a server? Well, whenever we're connecting to a server, what we need is two pieces of information. The first piece of information is the IP address of that server. Now, every computer on the internet has an IP address, which is pretty much an identifier for that computer. Now, once we know what computer we want to connect to, we need the port number because there's a bunch of different ports on that server, a bunch of different applications. We want to say that this is the application that we want to use this is the port that we want to use so connection equals new socket and the socket of course takes make sure I don't type anything wrong get by name so get by name and the name that goes in here is server IP server IP just like that. Now the next one is the port and it's 6789. Alright, so basically those are the two things I told you. Remember in um, the last tutorial, or not the last tutorial, but whenever we were creating the server program, then we said remember that port, this is what I said to you guys, remember that port, write it down on a sticky note or something because it's very important. Well if you forgot it then just go ahead and open up the program that you just made. Um, but if you're just following along with my tutorials, then the 6789, basically the port on your server that we're going to connect to, and what this does right here is it passes it in the IP address. Now, you need the specific IP address whenever you're connecting to a server, and it's going to be different from uh, mine probably, but for now, just remember that just for testing purposes we can just use um, the same computer that you're working on but whenever you really make it then you need to you know ask the owner or just find out the IP address from online or something and it gets passed in through whenever we call this class right here and it gets set whenever we uh you know create the class object itself then it get pa it oh excuse me got the hiccups gets passed in through host and it sets it equal to server IP so now this variable server IP is a variable that all these methods can use and the server IP is the IP of the server so that's why we are allowed to use it right here this is the IP address and this is the port on that server fair enough so now the last thing that we need to do is just give a nice little prompt that says okay dude you are connected so show massage and we'll just say something like connected to and we might as well give them the IP address so connection because we're extracting information from that connection or the socket get an address get host name so this is basically gonna say okay what is the uh, IP address of the server that we're connected to and yeah I mean let me review this one more time so basically we're gonna say attempting connection once we're connection then the socket is gonna be made and we're gonna be connected to this server at this port and then we just go ahead and say dude you're connected you're good to go so in the next story what do we need to do next ah yes of course once we're connected we have to set up the streams or the roadways that communicate back and forth between the client and the server it's going to be awesome so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you later